Hi everyone, welcome back to Paint's Pitch. This is week six or episode six. Um, right here, we're back. We're better than ever. We're gonna be predicting these games. You know, these were pretty easy ones to predict. So if we don't get 100, percent you're gonna be hearing from our sponsors, Henry. Um, we're gonna start out with our record. You know, I'm sitting at point five hundred, twelve and twelve. Not terrible, but not bad. Uh, I have somehow have a positive record. I'm three and eleven. All right, now we're going to start out. We're going to go Thursday night, Cardinals versus Saints. So we're shooting on Thursday, so that's tonight's game. And um, we both have the Cardinals winning right here. You know, the Cardinals, they've been an all right team. You know, they've won. They've managed to win some games. You know, they've also managed to lose games. But a big addition of DeAndre Hopkins, or D-Hop, he should be coming back, and this passing game should be elite. You know, they did lose their wide receiver one, Marquise Brown, but... Hopefully D-Hop can be even better than him. And once Marquise Brown is back, they'll be a pretty good team, playoff team right here. So we think the Cardinals should be able to beat the Saints, who had trouble in passing game against the Bengals. The local game is Lions versus Cowboys. We both have the Cowboys. Um, we, Even though I'd want to root for the Lions, but they're just not that great of a bet. They're good at losing. Yeah. That's the way you can bet. Uh, the Cowboys have looked pretty good this year, but Dak is coming back, and hopefully he can come back strong after seeing what the Patriots did to the Lions. The Cowboys should be able to do the same. Now we're going to go Sunday night, and this is like one of the only games that we're actually diverse on. So we have the Steelers versus the Dolphins. And um, for me... I'm going to be picking the Steelers because, you know, after a slow offensive game, the Steelers still managed to win against Brady. And um, the Dolphins' offense isn't as dominant as they were at the start of the year with Tua being down and a lot of people being down in the passing game. And even the Dolphins' running backs haven't been, weren't too great last week. So hopefully that our defense can just, you know, stand up and stop them. I think it'll be a fairly close game, but I think the Steelers should be able to come out on top, especially if Kenny Pickett can play. Uh, I have the Dolphins winning, even though they have many questionable people in their passing game, with their biggest being their quarterback, Tua Tagovailoa. Their running game has not been very bad, though. Um, Moser started off very slow, but he has picked up in the last recent games. Monday night... Uh, we're coming in with a heater, you know, Bears, Patriots. Bears just played a Thursday night game. I don't really know if you can call that playing because they lost to the Commanders, and I don't know how you managed to do that. But um, we got the Bears and the Patriots, Bailey Zappi, you know, Broncos country won't ride. We got Bailey Zappi country, they'll ride. Uh, and Bailey Zappi we trust. He's probably going to carry this team to a win. I don't even think he's going to be close because Bears – um, Justin Fields wants to win, but he just doesn't have the material to win. So, I think that the uh, Patriots will end up coming out. You know, they'll have a strong pass game, but the run game should be able to back them up with Ramondre Stevenson. Okay. Alright, we're coming at you with an absolute banger right now. Game of the week, hard choice, very, very hard choice seeing all these teams that are playing. That we're not already covering, but we're going to go with the Jags versus Giants. Yeah, I know. You would have said that two to one years ago. People would have looked at you like you're crazy. But now, they're contenders. Okay. Personally, we both got the Giants winning this game. Um, we're choosing the Giants because they're looking very strong this year. On the ground and even on the air, you know. Daniel Jones, he's looking, he's looking like the best. You know, who's Tom Brady? We got Daniel Jones. Okay. And Saquon Barkley is back and healthy. And, you know, honestly, he should, he should carry this game. You know, he's going to tell the whole team to get on his backpack. Because he's going to carry them to a win this year. And, um, you know, the Jags had a very tough loss last week. But they did have a good air game. So the Giants' defense can stop that air game. They're set golden, you know, winning this game. I wouldn't be surprised if it's even a blowout. This has been Peyton's Pitch. Come back next week. Yeah.